Welcome back now. My guest, Christopher Irene Imomolen, is the Ado of Abaji, an educationist, a university professor, a serial entrepreneur, a business mogul, and a Nigerian politician. He is the founder of the Joint Professional Training and Support International Limited, JPTS, and Unique Foundation, a non-profit, non-governmental organization. I recently had a chat with him on coping with inflation as Nigerians have taken to gigs and entrepreneurship. Take a look. Yes, it's, it's a major way to go. It is a major way to go. Like we always say, governments still have their role to play. Creating an enabling environment. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not just about loan, loan. Creating an enabling environment. Once an enabling environment is created, people can easily implement their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship is about having an idea to solve a problem and generate wealth. Mm -hmm. through solving problem, providing services mm -hmm. for people. So um, I, I want the youth to begin to look at that, not just as wanting to be their own boss alone. Mm -hmm. Because we need to, I've seen a lot of young people who are more entitled driven mm -hmm. than profit driven. You know, when I started my company, it took me so much time before I could even indicate that I was the CEO of the company. Because I felt that I was too young and people might not believe that I do such a thing. So when I talk to people, I rather tell them, oh, I'm a staff. Even in my own company, so they believe me more. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. Mm. It means that there's a big boss somewhere. <laughs> I was the boss. So you see, young people of 21 already put a CEO. Mm. So it's for them, and they're not making any. So to them, it's so entrepreneurs should be looking at profit. They should be more profit oriented than just the time will come, you become the CEO of your company. So you want to solve a problem. And we are in a country that has numerous problems. So it's actually an opportunity for Nigerian youth to be more entrepreneurial now. Their problem with power, their problem with you know, just thinking of the easiest way to do what we currently do mm. is creating opportunity for yourself and, and now making sure that what you do is being patronized by so many people. They place the place of plenty. They talk about Facebook, they talk about this. You know, it's just about having much subscriber. Mm. And one of the good things that happened to us in this generation is the advent of social media. Social media has now made it very easy. You want to talk about musicians like Oye mm -hmm. you begin to wonder how were those people able to market their products in those days when there was no social media. Now you talk about Rema, you talk about Wizkid. You can, I don't think any, any of us have their CD, mm -hmm. but everybody's listening to their song. Mm -hmm. So you can see even if they release a song today, mm -hmm. how was Ebenezer Bay? How were they able to do it those days? How were Okoso, Sonny Okoso? How were they able to do it those days? Mm -hmm. But now, somebody will read a song in one minute and it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the technology, the AI technology, robotics and the rest of them is really making entrepreneurship easy. It, it, it's, a, it's a necessary development. You know why? Entrepreneurs of today must know that things are hard. One. You see that you increase salary very well so that those staffs you have are well paid or you give them a way to, to enable them also have side gigs. You must. Mm. If you don't do that, believe me, you have staff stealing from what they are doing. One of the major reasons why there is high level of theft, compromise, disloyalty at workplace today is because of economic hardship. People are trying to survive. So they are tempted. Even the Bible says that I will not allow a saint to go through trials too long so that you will not put his hand in iniquity. Mm. You can see. So if you have a set even in your company today and it's any 100,000, 150,000, 40,000, whatever, and it's not even enough to pay transport, and you don't give him that room and tell him, okay, don't worry, from henceforth, I want you guys to close by four. Don't come on Saturday and Sunday so that you can have time to do whatever I want to do. Mm. Deliberately create it for them. If you don't do that, they will start picking from your organization. So it's a necessary development that must be encouraged by even mm. bosses now. Mm. Yes, you must encourage them. You now see people now work remotely. Yes, if you know that some of your staff don't necessarily need to come to the office, you can still pay them. Allow them. See, things are changing and we need to change with the change. If you don't, your business will die. And so for, 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 for staff also, it's also a good time for them to. There's a lot of jobs out there. Locate all those websites where you can work remotely. Get those skills needed. A lot of companies, there are websites like Viva, and many, uh, Fiverr, a lot of them that you can pick up a tax, mm -hmm. get paid in dollars, 
just many things. So get to learn those skills. Let me tell you something deep. Many entrepreneurs you see do what you did actually stumbled into what opened the way for them. They were not initially, they didn't never, they never knew. I'm telling you. Many stumbled and they got a lot of them are still doing that same thing. When they find it difficult to even do something else. Mm. When they when they when they double into some other business, they run into loss. Some might be lucky. That tells you that even those who are entrepreneurs who are making it also could have that notion until something started working. If you don't start it, you will not know if it will work. So those who have the opinion that I don't think I am, you, they are wrong. The reason is because they have not, they might fail in one or two or three things. They should keep doing it. Um, Thomas Edison did, as I had over 1,000 experiments, to see what you like, but said it was the 1,001. At 900, he would have said, this is not my calling. I and give up. Every failed experiment leads is a step towards success. They need to know that. They need to change that mindset. Yes, I have tried it before it didn't work. That doesn't mean that I am not. Yes, see, let me tell you, what is even entrepreneurship? Even that boss you think is a boss, he's working for somebody. Mm. Even for example, we talk about TV station. Even the boss is working for, we all need to work for somebody at the time, even in our business that we call ourselves a boss. So that is it. So every, even the position you sit and say you're correct, you're already a, you're even a boss in that place. You don't know. You are serving a cause. So we can all do something. We need to change that mindset. Who should have that mindset? You need to change it. What you need to do is keep engaging yourself in different things. No matter how much you feel, keep trying. One day you get the, you get it done. And some people said it's difficult for them to learn that skills. It's also a wrong notion. See, anything you need to learn that will bring success your way, you just have to learn it. Mm. If do you know there was a time opening a Facebook account was very complicated. To open a Google was complicated to many people, mm. but you need to deliberately look at it. And suddenly it becomes easy for mm. you. So let us have an open mind. There's nothing too complicated. Every complicated system has a unit. Once you understand the unit, you put the unit together, you know the system. So we just need to know it. Momolan also shared on convertible skill search and what role capacity building plays in all of this as well as financing. We'll bring you details of that after this break. Stay with us. Um, there's a thin line between um, wanting to do what you are currently doing. For example, we see a lot of people who work. I have staff, for example, some of them are here listening. So oh, since our boss said we should go and work, then they want to go and do the same thing they are doing here mm. to sabotage what they are doing here. That's not what we mean. Even if you are going to do something, it must not be something that would defy the contract you have with mm. what you are. For example, you might be working in the media, but you are a public speaker. Mm. That doesn't stop you from speaking. And they can see there's a but it's not like oh you you want to you know you want to so that must be well defined. Then number two, um the role of capacity development is key. And how can we develop our capacity? It's an inherent talent we have, developing it. Some people even say that there's no talent. You must brush up that which you have. Mm. You know, when talent don't work hard, hard works win. Mm. You get someone who works hard can be more successful than someone who is talented and never worked hard. True. So working hard to build that talent is what matters. But the first is to realize your talent. There's many people who don't even know what they what they have. I've met a lot of young people out there. I ask them what is your gift, what area, where is your strength? Say they don't know. Many, ninety percent of the youth don't even know. Everybody's just doing what everybody's doing. I want to do TikTok because Mr. B is into some some people it work for them like that. Mm. But first, you need to know what you have. I got to know that I had the strength in marketing because. I was serving as a fellowship leader in my, in my, in my university days. I was a secretary. And when I got that role, I said, well, I can market. I can say anything. I, so I had to build that strength. I haven't discovered that. Mm -hmm. You discover your strength through volunteering, through active. Being, just keep doing things. Anyway, you find yourself, try to take a lead. When you do that, you know where you are weak and where you are strong. You cannot discover yourself when you are not participating in a thing. And it's, it's, it's so sad. That's when you don't want to do anything except they are paid. There's a time you must sacrifice. There's a time you get the reward. You must know those things. So when you're able to know, you might have multiple talents in speaking, you might have talent, in, and sometimes you might not even have talent. Necessity can even make you develop that skill. Mm. Yes, we've seen people go to 
public speaking schools. Nothing is wrong from you having a coach. You want to become like a pastor, like this pastor. Unroll under that coach. It's a pity that we live in a country where pastors now become coach, even business coach. Mm. Pastors are spiritual leaders. They are not lawyers. They cannot advise you on legal cases. Mm. Pastors cannot advise you on businesses, except they have business or company. They have some pastors. But they are business coaches. Mm. In foreign countries, you have people who pay so much to have a coach. When you have a coach, the coach teaches you the rope so you don't make so much mistakes to succeed. Mm. You get it. So you can also enroll to have a coach. Look at somebody that has made it. Sincerely serve that person. Take that. Not just, I'm not talking about a mentor. A mentor is not from a coach. A mentor is somebody you look on to, but does not, may not have time to teach you. But a coach is somebody who will tell you this, this, and you must be ready to learn. There are many daily needs product that people are now Amazon affiliate marketers. People are making so much money from affiliate marketing. You get it's a big one. Number two is becoming a travel consultant. Mm. We now have a lot of Nigerians who want to travel to study abroad, who travel. travel to Canada. Yes, traveling consultant means it doesn't mean that you are the one present the visa. They are legal travel consultants who, are, who give advice and make money from mm. getting admissions from students abroad is huge because many youth want to get back. So it's a big one also. Affiliate is one. Travel consultant in another telecommunication. We have a lot of um, a lot of businesses in telecommunication industries. You see a lot of people who do who do POS. Recently, I sent hundred POS to someone in Africa, mm. and the guy is I said, wow, I said, he sent those and I sent hundred POS to a particular man. I said, give mm. it to them. Each person of these women were making about three thousand, four thousand per day. Mm. Imagine if they are even remitted to him, maybe half of it. Mm. Imagine what he'll make it times hundred times. Like he's even making more money. Mm. So there are little little businesses out there that are needed on a daily basis. We talk about exportation. We have Nigerians in London, in UK, in US that needs our food. You can also study the business of exportation. We have solid minerals. You know, we are now getting more alert with the gold that we have in Zafara. Golds are in Abuja. Golds are in Oshun. We have Columbus. We have why can't you also just pick a bag and say I'm going to a location and let me see what I've done. Get my license from get your land to use and get lines and make it work and start doing there are many Chinese that are looking for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. We have the food businesses, the farm to the market is not being regulated. You see a yam is being sold in Benue for 20 naira. That same yam get to Port or any other city and it's being sold at 1,005. How can't you go inside the food? See, there's a problem in Yoruba that says that oh wait be on. It means that the money you make from 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 what's it called? physics mm. does not smell. So you see people who want to wear this tie. There's so much money, so much money. Talk about real estate. You can start owning your land at cheap price. Go to, to go to local owners and say, give me this land. I'll pay you back when I sell it. And advertise people want to buy plot because people believe that if we have we are in a country where people live in inheritance and must buy land. Not because they don't have something. People the other day I was talking to people and I said, have you guys made it? They said we have not made it. So what do you have that makes you feel that at least you've achieved? One of the things they measure is land. People feel that once they have a landed property, it's an achievement. So mm -hmm. since people, so why can't, so there's numerous things that one can do. Restaurant business is key. You know, like you say, online sales, online of food. People, we have Omalata, who, who, who supplies food here and there. There are so many, so many businesses. Create schools is good business. Mm -hmm. You can start creating your house. People are doing it now. Like you have a, you have a flat and you have just one you are using. There's nothing wrong. You can use two room, buy chairs, get a just registered business name, go to major education, just notify them. It's like that already. And you can start having six, ten children there. There's nothing too small to start with. When you start, you understand it better. From there, you move to the next level. There are businesses that can never afford them. Schooling, people need to people must go to school. People must eat every day. Mm. You see? These two business health also. And health is well too regulated. So there are so many things. I will not advise anybody to go into car sales business now because and many persons who are even who are who are who have bought cars. You know, cars are now so expensive. Um, people are now nobody is even selling their car. They repair their local car. <laughs> upgrade, upgrade is what they are doing now. So mm. there are so many things that can be done. Mm. Once you score your talent, you can market your talent, monetize your talent, okay. and stop uh, value your talent too. Mm. If you know that you're a musician, you don't need to start singing anyhow every way. Don't make don't make it cheap. Mm. Let people before people hear you sing. Let people, Scarcity brings pro, brings value. Mm. When something is not scarce, there's no value. So when you have this talent, make it scarce. Don't make it cheap. Yes, so that those are part of the ways to mm. monetize what you have.
Yeah, I'm going to talk as a local man here. Yeah. I'm not going to um, say things that are very theoretical that is not realistic. Yes, mm -hmm. people, we see people go for banks, they get loan, using loan app. I don't really advise anybody to start a business with such finances. You, For me, my own personal principle, truth be said, I have never collected loan to run my business. Never in my life. But I believe that, well, it could get to a level where I need loan just to improve. Mm -hmm. But to start, well, it might work for people. But the best form of capital is reputation. When you have reputation as a person, when people trust you. Mm. People will be ready to deliver to you and allow you to pay later. Mm. I'm telling you. Okay. There are many people doing business because capital money is what you need to buy something from somebody. I'm telling you, there are people that can. Let me give an example. Do you know that this unemployment you are talking about does not really affect people from the East? Mm. They don't understand what's going on in employment because they have a system that works there, which is called what's called apprenticeship system. Mm -hmm. Except those that go to school that's with But the local system in the east, the Igbo people, they serve them. So I don't if you go to them and talk about unemployment, they don't understand unemployment. Their unemployment is that they don't have an uncle that will take them to serve them for ten years and serve to them. That's the system. Except those that have gone to school that are now waiting for. But I'm talking about the grassroots. So and that's what we trust. So Somebody met me said, I want to start selling pure water. Please give me 500 naira. I said, she said, work with that woman. Tell that woman, give me five, one packet. I will come back with your money. If people can trust you, they will deliver their product to your hands. What I mean by the Igbos, many Igbos who are so rich today got the trust of Chinese people those days. And they were able to send them content. Some of them did not have one naira. Even the flight money to travel to China, they didn't have. I can tell you stories of many billionaires today. They started a business with that, they didn't have money. And you, well, before you can end that trust, you must be able to speak confident to the person who is going to deliver that to you. To make you know that you are somebody that can multiply. All of us who are doing it, we need people to trust. The biggest challenge at the particular level of business is trust. Mm. When you find people you can trust, you will deliver that wealth to them. Yes, that is very key. So once you can develop trust, trust by itself is the currency for exchange in business. Mm. So look at yourself. Because we don't become great by who we know. It is by what people know us of. It is not who we know, it is who knows you. Mm. What they know you to be. A lot of people know billionaires, yet yeah, they are not billionaires. We used to, it's who you know. No, it's not who you know, it is who knows you. And who knows you means what do they know of you. Mm. So that is very key, that is the most important thing. It is in that way family members can even now believe in your dream. That is a family member says, oh, because the best form of capital to support him is when you go to people that knows you before. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. If they know you as a they will give you something. There was time I wanted to employ a driver. I said, go and bring a guarantor. He said, sir, nobody can guarantee me. Nobody. So I want us to employ you. I said, I've done so much, but nobody wants to stand for me. Then you cannot employ you. So when first is to capital you need is self-trust. Mm -hmm. Work on yourself. If you are someone that are not be too straightforward to people before, if you are trying to change your attitude, if you want to go to business, believe me, you cannot make it far if you are not a straightforward person. He said, we want to go into a business that is not straightforward. Mm. You get, but if you want to go into a genuine business to make it and have the trust of your customer to do business with you, you must work on your attitude. Be a good person. Let people know you for what you are. Be trustworthy. Let your word be your word. Mm. Then after that, family member donation is key. I don't want you to go into a business where you take loan. It's when they come on me today and you stress you out, you cannot pay back, you'll be frustrated. Mm. But when family member supports you and it's not loan, okay. Because Somebody made me say, sir, I need 500,000. I gave the person 100,000. And the person was angry. I said, why? Well, if you have five people like me, give mm. you 500,000. You don't need to loan 500,000. True. So why are you angry? I've given you 500,000. So talk to another four people that can trust mm. you. Then you, are not, you, will, you, you will face that business without mm. looking at, I need to pay back every week. Mm. Because sometimes you may need up to six months gestation period mm. before you start making profit. And imagine you have collected loan and you need to start paying back that same month. Mm. It will even kill the business. The so, the first thing I would advise is self-trust. We need to develop that. The second thing family member, once you develop that self-trust, you will see money come. People are ready and you must have confidence to defend whatever mm. idea you have. Right. Yes, you must have confidence. You must now start looking at different form of partnership too. Mm. In Africa, we hate collaboration. We rather rival with ourselves and collaborate. Yes, be ready. Don't forget about people using you. So people have ideas. I've seen people have ideas. They write posts and they say, I don't want to share my idea. Mm. You will steal my idea. See, there's no new idea. That idea, if I Google it, you somebody else has done the idea. Be open. If you are starting an idea and someone wants to invest yeah. into your business, be open. Don't be greedy. Perfect. Even if they say, I will, I will get 30%, I will get 70%, just, just beg. Mm -hmm. It's better bringing money. Don't worry. 
there are ways you write proposal that will not show that you are greedy. Mm. Give that proposal to people, let them fund it and run it. But first, like I said, trust is the biggest form of money. All right. Thank you so much, sir, for 